what does it mean when people say when you're a general once, you're general forever? Well, I saw the celebration uh, tonight where we everybody came back for the event. We had a saying, once a general, always a general, because there's a special uh, a breed of a character of a, uh, a person and a player that play here. That, it wasn't, wasn't all about developing hockey players, it was uh, developing characters. You know, 3 nothing early, the same start you guys had in Barry. Talk about how important it was to get off to that start, especially on the road. Well, you always want to get off to a good start. Uh, you know, they got a good hockey club, and uh, uh, like any team, you want to try and get them on their heels if you can. And also, you spent many of your years with the Jets organization. You saw what Ivan Television is doing here tonight, as well as Mark Schleifle. Talk about what those two could do for the city of Winnipeg. You know, the Washington Capitals said you've got to make that call. I think at times the protocol for testing concussions, they're just tests. They don't know actually how you feel. Do you agree with that? Yeah, I do. I think, uh, you know, every player is different, so, you know, and to test, it is just a test, I think. But ultimately, it comes down to how you feel. Thanks, guys. Here with Morgan Lewis, rating player of the week last week. An intense second half, especially in the last 30 seconds. Talk about what happened there. Yeah, it's a physical, intense game. You know, we're, both of our playoff lives are on the line tonight. And uh, a win is going to help either team out in a loss. It'll really hurt somebody else. So it's going to be a, a good game to the end. And a, it's going to be one we're going to battle back in that second quarter after the team was down five in the first. What does the team need to do for the rest of the game to ensure they can come out of here with the W Center? With me right now is Jeff Hackett, former NHL or former Oshawa general. Jeff, you played 500 total games in the NHL. Talk about the skills you had, uh, you know, with the generals and how that developed the rest of your skills in between the pipes. Talk about the culture of the generals and what that mean to you as a former general. Well, I think the first thing I, re I remember when I was drafted by Oshawa was, was Sherry Basson saying, once a general, always a general. And I think that that's so true with all the guys that uh, who played for Oshawa. They realize... Um, Here we are with assistant coach Roger Hunt. Roger, it's 5 nothing right now. A slow start in that first period. Talk about the struggles that's been happening in this game. Well, you know what? We've It's, it's almost a, a replay of uh, when we were in Barrie. You know, we dug ourselves a huge hole. And They're leading a fight back that might make it a playoff spot, but just somehow how the entire year has went for the Oshawa Power. Well, it was a little difficult initially because we're a little... Uh, Congratulations on a wonderful, wonderful inaugural season, and hopefully you'll be back next year. Thank you very much, and thank you for the support that you and Rogers have showed to us in this our inaugural season. You're very welcome. Thank you. I send it up to Clinton and Trevor, who will have highlights from an amazing first half here at the GM Center. Sean, you're usually a coach, now you're a player. Talk about your veteran presence on the team and what exactly your role is. Oh, I'm just here to help rebound and play some defense and, and really keep things on hand with defense and for the team. That's what I was asked to do, so that's why I'm here. It's a big transition from coaching back to playing again, but I'm having fun. You know, you played all over the world. You're a Toronto boy. Um, you know, you see the impact the crowd is having right now. Talk about that and talk about the NBL and what it means for the future of Canada basketball. Oh, it's fantastic. You know, it's a, it's a direction that should have been gone. We've tried before. It's failed a number of times. But it looks like they got their infrastructure together, and it is what you think. If this league continues to grow, a lot of the Canadian talent can stay at home and continue to develop at home. Yeah, for sure. Um, like, you see the Canadian talent, you see the American talent. How do they differ? Um, you know, like I said, like I always said, you know, I feel like the talent is rising in Canada. You know what I'm saying? People's working just as hard, you know what I'm saying? It's a bigger country in the United States, so there's a lot more kids, a lot more men out there, you know what I'm saying? But as you can see here, man, we got a packed house tonight, so, you know, things are growing in Canada. Things are looking good. A lot of Canadians who went down tough. Corey Joseph, Tristan Thompson, Mick Bungor, just some of the recent ones. Talk about your own experiences at Finley Prep. Um, you know, I feel like Finlay Prep made me a better person, made me the player I am today. You know, we worked hard, man. 5.30 wake-ups, you know, not going to sleep till 10 at night. Waking up, doing the same thing, you know. Mike could tell you the same thing, Corey and Tristan. You know what I'm saying? And we got a fellow Canadian over there right now, Anthony Bennett, doing the same thing. So it was a great experience, man. We just worked hard.